What's going on YouTube family? It is your favorite mums here and welcome back to Trading with Two Mums. Did I just sound like a bit of an infomercial? I should make a little series, Trading with Two Mums. All right guys, it's like a, a cooking show. Trading with Two Mums, boys. All right, so what we are going to do here is I'm gonna show you guys a trading method that you can use um, regularly, okay? So it's kind of like the chem style method, but it, it's position change method, all right? So it, it's similar to the chem style method. It has the same philosophy, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can apply it with position changes. And this way it gives you both because you like to have both strings, right? Sometimes the position change method isn't working that well. So you can do the chem style method. If the chem style method's not working that well, you can do position change method. And I like to vary between the two. Uh, an example of this guys is I had been doing a bit of chem style trading earlier. Uh, it wasn't working on a, I think it was about two days ago. It wasn't working very well. So I actually went over and started doing position change method. I found a really good filter for it that was working for me at the time. Filters change regularly, by the way, guys. I'll tell you the filter I was going with, but it might not even work now. So they change regularly, right? So you got to find one that's working at that current hour. Um, but anyways, I ended up making about 150,000 coins in the space of about an hour and a half, uh, which is very, very good. Um, that's a lot of money. 150,000 coins in an hour and a half is a lot of money to make in that amount of time. So yeah, it was just working so effectively for me. Anyways, quick update, guys, as I like to give you guys updates because we're not doing the road to glory really anymore uh, or filming it anyways. This is my road to glory. Um, we changed the team up for this weekend league. So weekend league this weekend, we'll be playing on stream, obviously. That is the team. So we ended up picking up Neymar for just over a million coins, man, which is crazy. But yeah, I'm very happy with the team. Team is looking insane. And then we still got about 600... I've got, a, I got something on my transfer. So I, I think I've got about 700,000 coins if I, if I sold the stuff. Um, liquid as well. So yeah, team is looking really, really good. I'm actually really, really happy with it all. Uh, but anyways, let's quickly show you guys what I want to show you, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip you guys over to the desktop to have a look at this, right? So this is just on uh, FIFA Footbin, sorry. This is the position changes and just gives you an idea of the prices, okay? I don't normally use this, but it's just to give you guys an idea. So basically, as you can see, just like the chem style method, position changes are all have a value. So now working with position change that have a low value isn't really going to work. Okay. So working with these ones, left forward to left wing, right forward to ref, uh, right wing, you know, they're not really going to work very well. The larger the margin, obviously the bigger profits you can make, but then also sometimes the more competition you have. So Ones that work really well are camps to center mids because they're quite high, especially on Xbox. Um, CDMs to center mids work quite well. And then even your other way around as well, center mid down to CDM works quite well. And then your wingers as well, right mid to right wing and left mid to left wing um, seems to work quite well as well. So they're about a thousand coins. But there's other ones as well. Even striker to center forward um, works quite well. So going down from striker to like a cam. You know, you have to get a center for, striker to center four, which is 700, then a center four to cam, which is 800. That's a 1500 coin position change to go from a striker to a cam. Anyways, you guys can use this now to make money off, right? So as we just saw, guys, the most expensive one was a cent, cam to center mid, which was 2400 coins on PlayStation, 3300 on Xbox. That's actually a little bit wrong. It's a bit high. So I just checked it before. It's about 2600. Now you can use this information to make yourself some money. So now an example, and this is the card that I was trading with and made a lot of money on the other day is Fakir. So you've got a card like Fakir. Now other cards you can use guys, you've got Nine Golan, you've got um, Coutinho. So they're just two other cards that, that you could use. Now what you wanna do with these cards is you wanna have lower budget cards. So you're not really trading with 50,000 coin cards. The reason why you don't trade with as high margin cards as say the position, the chem style method is because position changes aren't valued as much. So there's no use. Look, if you're trading with a 50,000 coin card and it's got a position change on it, that's worth 2,500 coins. All right. So maybe you can, there's a 2,500 coin profit margin in there. Uh, you're then paying that exact same amount of money, 2,500 coins in tax. So you're kind of losing the profit through tax. Well, if you're trading with a 10,000 coin card, and then there's that 2,500 uh, margin between because of the position change between a card. Obviously, you're only going to get taxed a small amount of that, like 500 coins, and you can still make yourself a couple thousand coins profit. 
All right, so we're looking with lower cards. So Nangolan is like 19K, Fakir's like 8K, Coutinho's like 7,000 coins. They're the cards you're working with, right? Now, what you do, guys, is have a look at what this card is worth uh, just by himself. So this card by himself, so he's a cam is his original position. So this card as a cam is about 7,500 by the looks of things. Let's go 74. So there you go. This, this, it sells for about 7,400. So if you list it up for 74, you would sell him. It would take, you know, a, a bit. Or if you want to sell him quickly, 7,300, okay? Now, if you search with a center mid, this card is a center mid. Usually, because cam to center mid cards are expensive, they're 2,600 coins, there's going to be a margin, you know? There's going to be, uh, this card might be about 9,000 uh, around there with that position change on him. Wow, I'm going to pick these up. Wow, 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 wow. Money, money, money. <laughs> okay. Oh, I only got one. Okay. I'll take it. Hang a second, guys. I, I wasn't expecting that, but um, we will take it because that's not... That's a very small margin there. So usually what you'll find, and let's see now, once I refresh. I mean, this just shows you how regularly they're popping up. This just shows you how regularly they're popping up. So usually, guys, what you'll find is there will be a margin between them. Now, it's normally not the full value of the card. So if that card is 7,400 with a, as a cam, as a center mid, you know, you might, it's normally maybe 1,500 coins or something like that of a margin. Now, see, as you can see here, the margin's are like high, and that's why they were popping up. But I'm going to hold this card and, and just try and flip him for that little bit more. What you normally find is there's that margin there, and then you can buy them, snipe them with a center mid, flip them with a cam card. I mean, sorry, snipe them with their center mid card and flip them with that uh, position change on them, guys, for some easy profit. So I was doing the card I was doing this with the other day was Fakir. So he was selling for 9.5k. I was sniping and bidding on Fakir's with a center mid position change on him already for the, for the same price he was normally selling for, which was 9.5. And I was flipping him for 11.5k. So after tax, I was making about 1.5 thousand coins a card and I was getting them regularly. Every 30 seconds, I was winning one pretty much. And I made about 150,000 coins in the space of an hour and a half. So let, let's try it with a different one now. So let's try it with a nine golem. Another one's nine golem, guys. He's selling for about 18,000, I think, uh, as he is. So let's have a look. So you want to use meta cards as well, by the way, guys, because you want cards that people want to use in their teams. Okay, so this card's selling for about 18K. Uh, 17,750 if you want to sell straight away, but 18K. Uh, would sell. Now, if I look at this card with a center mid on him, what kind of price are we looking at? So there you go. So this is more of what you should see. So this card sells for about 19.5 with a center mid, and he sells for about, I think it was about 17.750 without the center mid. So there you go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Center mid. Oh my God, sorry guys, I hadn't taken the sentiment off. Wow, that would have been a great one. So he sells for about 17,750 as is. So if you can sit there and snipe center mid nine golems for 17,750, like you just saw then guys, one popped up because people don't realize and they just list it for the normal price, right? You could have then flipped that card for 19,000 coins or 19,5 I think it sold for. So after tax, you're looking at 1,500 coins profit. Now, that card also had an anchor on him. So with an anchor, that probably boosts up the price even more. So I probably could have flipped. If I had won that one just then with a centimeter anchor on him, probably could have flipped that coin for, card for about 2,500 coins profit. All right, so that just kind of shows you very easily what you can do. Another one you could use is maybe like a Coutinho. Same thing, guys. I'm just trying to show you a few different options. Um, let's see what this card sells for. So this card sells for about, I think it's like around here, isn't it? 7K, 75. 
All right, so there you go. So this card sells for about 7,300, I would say, uh, as he is. Yeah, so about 7,300, 7,400 as he is. Now, if I'm putting a sentiment on him, because this card's obviously a cam card, and he's a card that people do use in their team. If I put a sentiment on him, he sells for... Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one to buy, boys. I'm not trying to buy right now. Otherwise, I would have bought that. Um, but he looks like he sells for about 8200 There you go. He sells for 8200 So if you sit there and snipe him for 7400 uh, with a sentiment, flip him for 8200 you get you're getting about 600 coins a card profit. Obviously, if there's a position change on, if there's a chem style on him as well, guys, you can maximize that profit uh, and make even more. So if he then also had like a hunter on him or a good chem style that sells for a little bit of coins, it can also equal uh, add on to the value. Now you can do this with different cards, guys. So as you guys see here from our position changes, that's just looking at cam to centimid uh, changes. Now, maybe you go pick up some right mid cards, like a Pizzy, all right? He's a right mid, but you pick him up with a right wing position change on him. So they're worth 1,000 coins. So maybe a 5,000 coin or say a 4,000 coin Pizzy might be able to sell for 4,700 coins or 4,600 coins with a, a right, as a right wing card. So if you can pick up that card for 4,000 coins as a right wing, you could then probably flip him for four or five hundred coins profit per card, right? Now, obviously, look, guys, the margins on these cards aren't as high as maybe defenders with shadows on them and your chem style trading. But sometimes there's too much competition, all right? Maybe you've got too many people doing chem style trading at the time. So going over to these cards and working with smaller margins on some of these cards can be very, very effective, all right, guys? It allows you to sometimes look at lower tier cards as well. Because obviously with position change, I'm normally looking at a bit higher tier cards. But this allows you to maybe do some lower tier cards. And you don't even have to do camps to centimids, maybe doing some CDMs. So have a look at CDMs to centimids. So this is just an idea, guys. And have a look through, okay? Filter through and have a look through for ones with good margins. So that's just a random one. I also, all I searched was rare golds, oh, sorry, golds, um, CDM to centimids, search down. I mean, Matweedy's sitting there. He's a meta, meta ish card. People want to use that card. Okay. I know for a fact, looking at my thing, that CDM to centimid cards are about 1,500 coins. So there is a bit of a margin there. And there, you would probably find a margin on the market. So I'll search up. Are you pardon? Matweedy. It says he sells for about 5,000 coins. So let's have a quick look and make sure. So this is what you want to be doing, guys. You want to just be making sure on the margins before you actually go and do it, okay? Because footbin isn't always right. So he sells for about 48, 47, 4,800 coins. Now, if I pick him up, he's a CDM normally. If I were to pick him up as a center mid, what kind of, what kind of price is he selling for right now? This looks like a good card. This is what I mean by you want to search around, guys, because some cards, the margin's just not there. Some are. So this card is selling for about 6,000 coins, is the cheapest with a centimid. So now he sells for 5,700 without it, 6,000 with it. So what I would then do is I would keep my filter as a centimid. I would go down to, let's say, it was 48, 4,700. Let's just go a bit above that. Let's say 5,000. So that's a little bit above, so you're giving a lot of options. Now, you could flip these cards for 6,000. So if I'm buying it, and I would sit here and snipe, you know, just sit here and snipe uh, centimids, matweedies that pop up for 5,000 coins and under. You can also bid and go and bid on some of them, right? I just sit here and snipe. Every single time I won one, I would then list it up for whatever, 59, 6,000 coins, and you're making 800, 900 coins a card. All right, 800 coins a card. So it's that easy, and there's plenty of cards you guys can do this with now. All right, sniping is probably the best way to get them and just have a little bit of patience. You know, d if you sit here and snipe for 10 seconds and one doesn't pop up, I mean, you know, that's not enough patience, guys. You want to you sit here and just keep sniping, all right? And, and I guarantee you, cards will pop up, all right? You've already seen them pop up here. And if you can even win one every minute, that's still good profit when you think about it, guys. If you're making, you know, 50,000 coins an hour, that's a solid method. 
if you can earn more, obviously, if you can earn anywhere between 50 to 100,000 coins in an hour, that's a very good method. Really, 100,000 coins an hour, you're doing really, really well, okay? Really, if you can make like 50, 60, 70,000 coins in an hour, that, that, that's a very good method still, all right? You're making very good money uh, on, at an hourly rate, all right? I mean, I know some people that will invest in a card and make 50,000 coins profit investing and they'll hold that card for four days. So if you can make that same amount in an hour, that's crazy. Now think about it. If you're winning one card every minute of this, okay, and you're making 800 coins profit, after an hour, that's about what? That's probably about 50,000 coins. You're probably making about 50,000 coins an hour if you're just winning one every minute. So all that has to happen is one card has to pop up once every minute, guys, and, and you're making 50K an hour, right? So that, that's why I'm saying be patient, right? If one doesn't pop up in 10 seconds, 20 seconds, they're not popping up every 30 seconds, don't get frustrated. It's all about, you know, trading takes some time. It's about sitting there and just trying it out. So maybe try it for a couple minutes. If they're not popping up in a couple minutes, then try a different card. Anyways, that's the video, guys. That's all I really want to say. Um, you want to use this with chem style trading, guys, and it can be very, very effective if you use it properly. Search around the market, though. Have a look. Like I said, I made, I found a very good card, and you guys can as well. Obviously, you know, Fakir wasn't the first card I tried. I tried Nangolan. I tried Katinia. I tried a couple other position change cards. None of them were really working. I was winning ones here and there, but they weren't going great guns. Then I went to Fakir. And next thing I know, I was winning them every, like I said, every 30, 40 seconds, I was, I was winning one. And I was making 1,500 coins profit every time I won one. So after about an hour and a half of doing that, I ended up making about 150,000 coins. So that's, uh, that's what can happen, guys. Anyways, chuck a like on the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be bringing out a rewards video. Uh, I'll be opening rewards on stream, share plays, and my rewards. So come through, or you can see that video tomorrow. And then obviously, uh, I'll be trying to bring out some more videos, some more trading videos, some more market videos for you guys um, as we head into, obviously, we've got Scream coming up soon, uh, all the different promos. I'm going to start bringing out some uh, reward flipping investments and things like that for you guys. So yeah, hope you guys like it. Like I said, like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you boys on the next one. Peace out.